or good evening and welcome back to uh, Talos, New Mexico and Wimber Studios, where I've been doing most of my work the past year or so. In the wake of COVID, right, everybody is not gigging. So I've been taking this opportunity and working this past year on several backlog uh, of projects in the catalog uh, that I'm getting prepared for release. I've been working quietly on it. Now it's time to get some of that stuff resurfaced um, by the end of the year. Um, that entailed, there's a number of projects that are coming out. Um, some backlog summer duo stuff that I'm going to add some bass to. Uh, the theater piece music that I worked last year on for the Santa Fe Playhouse. Wonderful play uh, that I was asked to do the music for. Uh, so I'm going to prepare all of that for release. A solo oud CD is coming out. Um, so I have a number of stuff that's, uh, that's in the works and in the pipeline. Uh, a lot of that ended up uh, precipitating the need for me to get a bass to complete some of this work. I've never owned a bass. I borrowed one uh, from time to time, but I've never owned one. Uh, so I got this cheap-ass five-string fretless. Uh, it sounds kind of cool. It's a motherfucker to play. It's nasty. I mean, the action is way, way high. Uh, I'm trying to tweak it and get it into shape. But uh, anyway, I like playing fretless bass, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kind of what it sounds like. It's got a good tone, even though it's miserable. The nice thing about a prelice, of course, it has this nice swinging quality to it. And of course, you can get those nice Middle Eastern quarter tones, too. So I'll just show you a little bit about uh, kind of how I'm approaching with it to do. Mm-hmm. 